Once again, a very warm welcome on Bula Fiji TV as we bring in another breaking news as far as soccer is concerned happening in Fiji. First of all, I would like to uh, apologize uh, on Bula Fiji TV's behalf as I am one of the new faces in Bula Fiji TV bringing you sports coverage from a right around Fiji that if I have taken any player's name wrongly as I have been quoted uh, that uh, I'm trying to copy Raymond Stoddart. Well... I am not trying to copy him. Whatever I have learned in the form of commentary, soccer commentary and sports report, I, I am trying to feed it back from the knowledge that I have got. Uh, so my apologies. Uh, as a few, I think there are a few people that have commented on me uh, taking the player's name incorrectly. My apologies. And we'll try to get the acts as accurate as you can say a, of the player's name. Just like I was, I think, quoted of uh, calling out uh, Nikhil Chand. It's Nick. It's uh, the spelling is uh, a bit different. So uh, uh, the Suva is a uh, Fiji's under 20 player. And it is, I think it's correctly that the way I have taken the name of the Lambasa young sensation of Christopher Waisala Sala. It is Christopher Waisala Sala. And if I, once again, if I have offended anyone or any, especially the Lambasa or the Suva fans, my sincerely apology goes out to them. But uh, coming back into the breaking news as far as soccer is concerned, as I said earlier, when I had uh, brought in the results from the uh, National, uh, National League series uh, that happened over the weekend, that will be proving you as the Battle of the Giants Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament gets closer. And one of the breaking news in order, in accordance to the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament is that we the fixes have been released by Fiji FA this afternoon. Yes, Fiji FA has released this afternoon the fixes as far as the... 2014 Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament is concerned. And remember, once again, the tournament is to be played over two weekends, uh, or rather over two venues, uh, and over two weeks, not two weekends, uh, over two weeks on two different venues. The first round of the matches is to be played at Govin Park in Bar from the 22nd till the 24th of August before a week later where the tournament uh, uh, get the semi-finals and finals to be played from the 30th uh, of August uh, till the 31st at the ANZ National Stadium in Suva. Well, looking at the fixes, one, one more thing I would like to let the listeners of Bula Fiji TV know that Fiji FA has also introduced the under-16 boys in this tournament to develop soccer in Fiji, what is really exciting news to watch. Well, looking at the fixes on Friday on the 22nd of August, uh, which is about uh, a week and a half to two weeks time from now, uh, at 10.30 in the morning, uh, they have got the under-16 boys game, 11.45 as well, the under-16s games. Then at 1 o'clock, the tournament uh, kicks off uh, at Govin Park uh, when the Lambasa, the Dalip Chan versus Lambasa side takes on the Rewa side. And then at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Suva take on uh, the Nanronga side and uh, they have recently met just over the weekend and Nanronga created the biggest upset when they beat the the Suva side by two goals to one. And then at five o'clock in the afternoon, they have got the official opening. At 5.30, uh, half an hour after the official opening, the Navua side takes on the Lautoka side. Before at 7.30 in the afternoon, the future match on the first day's play, I feel, is the 4-hour electrical bar side takes on the shop and save Nandy side. What a way to start the tournament uh, on the first day's play. Exciting, all in my opinion, all the four matches should be very exciting. The Lamba Sarewa, Suva Nanronga, the Navua Lautoka, and of course, uh, to round it off, host for our electrical bar side, taking on the shop and save Nandy side. Or looking on Saturday on the 21st of August, uh, my apologies, I think it's the 20, 23rd of August, uh, that uh, I think the dates, uh, I'm getting a bit confused. The 23rd of August, again, 11, 10.30 to 11.45, they have the under-16 games. Then at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, on Saturday afternoon, the Navua side takes on the Suva side. Then following the, that game at 3 in the afternoon, the Lautoka side takes on the Nadronga side. 
At 5 o'clock, the swap and save Nanny side takes on the Dalip Chan Buzzers Lambasa side before the last match of the day that the host, the 4-hour electrical bar side, takes on the Rewa side. On And then you're looking at the, on Sunday, the 24th of uh, 24th of August, uh, the final run of the pool matches uh, from 8.30 till 10 o'clock, uh, I think, is the under-16 games. Then at 11 o'clock uh, on Sunday afternoon, on Sunday morning, rather, the Navua side takes on the Nadronga side, followed by at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the Shop and Save Nandi side takes on the Rewa side. At 3 o'clock, the Suva side takes on the Lotoka side. Before the last match on the uh, final day's play, as far as the pool matches are concerned, the 4-hour electrical bar side takes on the Dalip Chan versus Lambasa side. And remember, a week later, from the third, from the 30th to the 31st, you'll have the semi-finals on the 30th of August. And then the last day on the, uh, on the, cal- uh, on the uh, month of August, which is the 31st, is to be played the final, which is scheduled at 3 o'clock with the 1 o'clock, the two semi-final losers, which is meant the third and the fourth place playoff. So looking at a very exciting tournament as far as the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament kicks off in about a fortnight's time from now. As the tournament comes more closer, we'll bring, in to, we'll bring you more reports as we look at closely at the teams and what players will be taking part and which players will not be featuring for respective districts come the 2014 Inc. Mobile Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament. For Bula Fiji TV News, this, uh, sorry, Bula Fiji TV Sports Report, this is Nizar Hafiz.